what I might do is, I took a long exposure picture of where the, what the sky looks like right now, you can't really see it. So, whenever the ISS passes over, you should be able to see it a lot brighter. What I can do is I can take the, the long exposure picture and overlay this video over it. Right. So you get to see it tracking since it's pretty much the same thing. Oh, see it over there? Or is that a firefly? That was a firefly. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah, something like that. That was way too quick. Okay. Cool. Boom. Hope it doesn't pass behind the trees. Yeah. When is it due to hit? Due to end the way sound. I thought I said something over there, but maybe not. I don't know. I see it now. Is that it? That's it. That's it right there. Oh! Oh my god! That is it! Oh my god! Is it getting it? Yeah. Good. Oh yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, it is. That was what I was seeing. I yeah. think it was behind the trees over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is amazing. I think there's like uh, four people up there right now. Hmm. What, 510 kilometers above us? Wow. People up there. That's amazing. That was like something I would never want to do. Yeah. Just me, personally. Is it out of range? I don't see it right away. Too many clouds. I know. Yeah, it really sucks. Unless, oh, you know what? Huh. It probably went underneath the sunset because the sun set an hour ago, so it's probably right. still up there. But it's not hit by clouds, it's just this passed underneath the horizon. Yeah. That's really amazing. Yep. I'm glad we got out of here. Yeah. That is cool how it takes longer for it to actually, like, things in orbit take longer to pass below the horizon. Yeah. That is pretty cool. I like that. All right, the bugs are getting kind of crazy, so let's, <laughs> let's go inside. <laughs>